there, boys and girls. Welcome to Gateway Kids Club Storytelling. My name is Duane, and I was just setting up some stuff over here. I was categorizing them into three different categories. Big, medium, and tiny. I've got a bit more stuff here. Would you like to help me with them? Oh, great. Okay. First, I oh, I have some books. I have these books. Um, could you help me with which one is big, medium, or tiny? What about this? This would be tiny, and this would be medium, and I guess this would be big. <laughs> big, medium, tiny. Okay, so here we go. Big, medium, and tiny. You guys are good at this. Okay, what else do we have? Ooh, we have some cups here. Okay, I have this, this, and this. Um, they're all blue cups, but tiny, medium, big. Oh, it's a big super cup. <laughs> okay, so big, medium, tiny. Okay, and oh, I have the last set of things. Spoons. Okay, I have... Um, your turn now. Big, medium, tiny. Well done. So the big one goes here, the medium one goes here, and the tiny one goes here. Ha. Ah, okay. I think we're all set for today's story. There's going to be a lot of big, medium, tiny in this story. This is the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. So, once upon a time, far, far away, deep in the forest, there stood a little cottage. It was a beautiful cottage. There was a big garden with lots of flowers blooming. There was a lovely fence and the house, it had blue window sills. It had a strong wooden door. It had a red roof with a chimney and there was a doormat with the words, welcome. Now in this cottage, lived a family of bears. The three bears. First, there was Papa Bear. Can you spot where Papa Bear is? Well, he's the biggest bear behind me. There we go. Hello, Papa Bear. Say hello, Papa Bear. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. Oh, Papa Bear is huge and heavy. Now, and then there was Mama Bear. Can you see where Mama Bear is? She is slightly smaller than Papa Bear. She is medium in size. Oh, your eyes are going there. <laughs> That's right. Hello, Mama Bear. Oh, she's a beautiful bow. Say hello, Mama Bear. Hello, everyone. Good to see you. Oh, how are you doing, Mama Bear? I'm great. Oh, great. Okay, Mama Bear, I'll put you here. And finally, they had a little son called Baby Bear. He was the tiniest. Can you spot Baby Bear anywhere behind me? Oh, you've got sharp eyes. Okay, Baby Bear. Oh, you're so cute. Say hi, Baby Bear. Hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put you here, Baby Bear. Wow. Hey, boys and girls. Have you ever seen a real bear before? Now, your stuffed toys don't count, but a real grizzly bear. Maybe you might have seen it at the zoo or a wildlife park. Did you know something? Bears can grow to really big in size. When they are on their four legs, they can be as tall as my height. And when they stand up on their hind legs all the way straight up, they go to almost three meters tall. That's almost twice my height. So bears are really huge. And Papa Bear, he was one of the largest bears. And that's why his chair that he sat on was a big, strong chair. <laughs> this was Papa Bear's big chair. Mama Bear had a favorite chair, and that was her medium-sized chair over there. Now, Baby Bear's chair was really special. It was the tiniest chair. Let's have a closer look. Okay. Ooh, check this out. And it has a Superman picture on it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> well, this was Baby Bear's favorite chair and it fit him just nice. 
Okay. Now, in the bedrooms upstairs, there was a huge bedroom with three beds. There was a big bed for Papa Bear. Then beside that bed, there was a medium-sized bed for Mama Bear. And beside Mama Bear's bed, there was dun 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 dun, dun a tiny bed for Baby Bear. Ooh, it was the most comfortable bed ever. And Baby Bear could snuggle inside every night to sleep. <sighs> oh, <laughs> sorry, almost fell asleep. Whew. It's really comfortable. If I fall asleep, there won't be any more story. So, okay, let's get out of the bedrooms and down to the dining table because on the dining table, there was a big bowl for Papa Bear. Papa Bear, are you sleeping? Okay, sit up straight. Then there was a medium-sized bowl for Mama Bear and a tiny bowl for Baby Bear. Well, Mama Bear was just preparing lunch and her specialty was porridge. Yummy sweet porridge. That was her specialty. And Papa Bear and Baby Bear really loved to eat her food. She was a great cook. Hey, does your mommy and daddy cook? Do they have a specialty? Something that they're really good at? My dad makes really yummy curry. It's spicy and flavorful and delicious. Oh, just thinking of it is making my mouth drool. What about you? What are some things that your parents cook and you really, really love? Oh, pasta, spaghetti, chicken pie, oh, beef stew. Whoa, I can just imagine it and taste it in my mouth. Okay, so Mama Bear's specialty was porridge, sweet porridge. And she had just, woo, she had just taken it off the stove. Woo, woo. Okay, and so she poured the porridge into three different portions. A big portion for Papa Bear, a medium portion for herself, Mama Bear, and a tiny portion, which was just right, for Baby Bear. Now Baby Bear was really excited to eat. He was so hungry. And so he took the spoon and he put a big spoonful of porridge into his mouth. Wow, it's too hot, Mama Bear. I burned my mouth. <laughs> now, Papa Bear had an idea. Oh, here, Papa Bear, why don't you tell us your idea? <clears throat> why don't we go out for a walk and let the porridge cool? And by the time we come back, the porridge will be just nice to eat. Hmm, that sounds like a great idea. Mama Bear was very pleased with this idea. Oh, darling, that sounds like a terrific idea. I can't wait to go on a walk. Let's go, boys. And so the three bears went out of the house and left the porridge to cool. They were really excited to come back to it after that and enjoy the porridge. Now, meanwhile, across the forest, there was a little girl that was wandering in the forest. She had golden hair. Her hair was curly and spirally like like, like noodles. <laughs> and her name was Goldilocks. Whew. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Goldilocks because of my beautiful locks, my golden hair. People call me Goldilocks, but you can call me Goldie for short because you're my friends and I like you. And today I'm just wandering in the forest by myself. Well, my mother told me specifically not to go out of the house without her permission. She's scared that I might bump into wild, scary animals. Oh, <clears throat> Mommy. Goldie! Goldie! Goldie, oh, darling, I told you I don't want you running out of the house and wandering anywhere into the forest. The forest is a dangerous place. Remember what happened to Little Red? I don't want you to bump into the big bad wolf. Mommy, I'm not scared of the big bad wolf. I'm really brave. I'm Goldilocks. Well, 
Goldilocks was someone who did not like to follow instructions. And so one day, when her mommy was busy, Goldilocks snuck out of the house and ran into the forest for an adventure. She did not listen to her mommy's instructions, but she ran deep into the forest where there were many, many different wild animals lurking around. Hey, boys and girls, what are some animals that you might be able to find in the forest? And what are the sounds that they make? <clears throat> uh, what about an owl? Oh, owls come out at night. Hoot, hoot. Hoot, 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 hoot. What about a wolf? A wolf's howl. Why don't you try it with me? It's quite fun. Oh, what about a bat flapping its wings? Or um, what about crickets? Hey. I've got an idea. Why don't we pretend to be in the forest and you can choose one animal and make that sound. And together we're going to close our eyes and we're going to imagine ourselves in the forest, okay? We're going to create a forest soundscape. Okay, pick an animal. It could be an owl, a bat, a wolf, anything you can imagine. It could even be a snake. Psss. Okay, okay, close your eyes, boys and girls. Close your eyes. Now on the count of three, no peeking. I can see you. No, I can't. Okay, no peeking. On the count of three, we're going to make the sounds and we're going to imagine that we are deep in the forest. One, two, three. Wow, I totally can imagine myself in the forest now. The really nice sounds of snakes and bats and some wolves as well. Well done. Well, Goldie found herself deep in the forest. However, just like her mother said, and just like her mother warned her, she might get lost. Soon the paths started to merge into one another. All the trees started to look the same. <gasps> oh no, I think I am lost. Oh, I don't know how to find my way home. Oh, and I'm so tired and I'm so hungry. <sighs> If only there was a place where I could rest my legs and sit down, take a nap, or even have a yummy hot meal. Oh, what's that? Boys and girls, do you smell something? It smells like sweet porridge. And it's coming from that way. Ho oh ho! And so, Goldie followed the smell of the sweet porridge. She followed it through the forest, through a path. The path led to a clearing in the forest. And in the middle of the clearing stood the cottage of the three bears. Oh, Goldie was really excited. <gasps> wow, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Hello, anybody in? <laughs> Hello. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Hello, I'm really tired and hungry. Anybody in? Let me in. <laughs> Oh, hey, the door is not locked. Maybe I could just go in. Uh, oh, boys and girls, do you think I should go into the house? There's no one around and the door is not locked. And it says, welcome on the mat. <laughs> what? I, I need permission? Do you think I really need permission? But there's no one around in the forest for me to ask permission from. I don't care. I'll be fine. I'm just going to go in. Welcome. Woohoo. <gasps> wow, this is such a beautiful house. The yellow walls, the windowsill is blue and has pretty check curtains. And there's a lovely green lamp over there. <gasps> over there, I see the porridge. <laughs> I'm going to try the porridge. <laughs> da, 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 da. Ooh, what a big bowl of porridge. This must be delicious. <laughs> this porridge is too hot. I burnt my mouth. <sighs> Let's try the medium sized bowl. This might be better. Black. <laughs> Ooh. 
This porridge is too cold. <laughs> Let's try this tiny bowl over here. Hmm. Smells good. Can you smell it? Take a deep breath, boys and girls. I'm sure you can smell it. <laughs> oh, this porridge is just nice. I think I shall have more. <laughs> ah. And so Goldie finished the entire bowl of porridge. Poor baby bear would have nothing left to eat when he returned. Ooh, that was some yummy porridge. Now, my legs are so tired from all that walking, I need to find a place to sit down and rest. Oh my, what do we have here? A big strong chair. Okay, let's try it. Oh my, this chair is way too big and uncomfortable. I shall try another chair. Ugh. This medium-sized chair looks better. I shall sit in it. Oh, this chair is still too big and I might fall through the gaps. Ugh. Now, Goldie spotted the small, tiny chair that belonged to Baby Bear. Oh, look at this cutie. Do you see this? It's such a small chair. I'm sure I'll be able to sit in this. Na, 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 na. Ah! Ow! <gasps> I broke the chair. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> Nobody saw me do it. I can't do anything. I didn't. I didn't do anything. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. I promise you. Oh no! What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> oh no! Goldie had broken the chair of poor baby bear. He's gonna come back to a rude shock with his broken chair. But Goldie did not care. She was too tired to think about it. And so she decided to explore the house a little further. I shall go upstairs and maybe there might be some beds for me to lie in since I can't sit in any of these chairs. Hmm. She went up to the room that was filled with the three beds. She got into the first big bed. Mm. Oh. Oh. This bed is too big. It's too uncomfortable. I shall try the second bed, the medium-sized bed. She got into the medium-sized bed. Oh, this bed is still too big and it's still lumpy and uncomfortable. Then she saw the tiny bed, Baby Bear's bed. Wow. Ooh, this bed is so comfortable. It's just right. I shall lie down here and, oh, it's so comfortable. I think I might fall. <laughs> and with that, just like that, Goldie fell straight asleep. She was so tired. She fell asleep in Baby Bear's bed. Just then, the three bears had returned from their walk. Oh, I am so hungry. Papa Bear came in, went straight to the dining table and took his porridge. <gasps> Someone has been eating my porridge. Mama Bear went to check her bowl. Oh, someone has been eating my porridge. Now Baby Bear burst into tears. <gasps> Someone has been eating my porridge and finished everything. Oh, no, I will be hungry. <laughs> then Papa Bear noticed that something was wrong. His chair was in a different position. Someone has been sitting in my chair. Mama Bear looked at her chair. She saw that parts of the chair had been stretched. Someone has been sleeping in my chair. Just then, poor baby bear, just as you guessed it, burst into tears. <laughs> Someone sat in my chair and broke it. <laughs> the three bears had no idea who had done it. Then suddenly, they heard snoring. <laughs> It was coming from the room upstairs, their bedroom. Someone snuck into the house. 
So the three bears crept up the steps very quietly. Can you do it with me? Do do. How do you creep? Silently, on your tippy toes. Ready? Let's go. Do do, 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 do As they stepped into the bedroom, Papa Bear looked at his bed. Someone has been sleeping in my bed. The sheets are all crumpled. Mama Bear looked at her bed. Someone has been sleeping in my bed. The sheets are also all crumpled. Now Baby Bear looked at his bed. <gasps> there is someone sleeping in my bed and she's still sleeping in it. Now the little girl was fast asleep in the bed. The three bears crept over Goldie and looked at her. Hmm. Goldie could feel the breath of the three bears on her face. Suddenly she opened her eyes. Ding! Oh no, she thought. Three pairs of big eyes were staring at her. Three big noses were in her face. And three pairs of paws was right in front of her. <gasps> she got a shock. She was scared for the first time in a long, long time. She screamed, nah, please don't eat me. I don't want to die. And with that, she jumped out of the bed, darted across the room, out the door, ran down the steps, raced out of the house, and ran all the way home, 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 home. Whoa, that happened really fast. The three bears were, were still a little confused. She didn't even say goodbye. Oh, well. Well, at least they found out who it was that came into their house, although without permission. Mama Bear was really kind. She told her baby bear, don't worry, baby bear. I shall clean all the sheets for you. Papa Bear assured baby bear. Don't worry, baby bear. I shall fix you a brand new chair. <laughs> ah. And baby bear laughed and said, Ah, oh, well, I will remind everybody next time that when we go out, we need to remember to lock the doors so strangers don't come in. They went down to the dining room. They sat around the table. Mama Bear and Papa Bear poured some of their porridge into Baby Bear's bowl. They shared it with him and the three bears enjoyed their porridge together. A well-deserved treat after a long day of walk and a little adventure. Now, Goldilocks ran all the way home. <laughs> she saw her mommy and she hugged her mother really tight and she said she was sorry. She told her mother exactly what had happened. She apologized to her mother for not obeying her and listening to instructions and promised that she would never do that again. She had learned her lesson. The end. Wow. You know, boys and girls, if Goldilocks had listened to her mother's instructions, then all this wouldn't have had happened. She wasn't very nice, was she? I mean, she broke into the house, she ate the food, she sat on the chair, she broke the chair, she slept into the beds, all this without any permission. That isn't very nice. You know, sometimes when we do things without other people's permission, we might make them very upset or very sad or angry. Just like poor baby bear. His chair was broken and his food was all eaten up. Well, at least Goldie had learned her lesson and the three bears could finally enjoy a well-deserved meal. But I think they too learned a lesson as well to make sure they lock the doors before they go out of the house. It's a good lesson for us to learn too so that we don't get any unwanted strangers in our house. <laughs> if you enjoyed today's story, please click like and subscribe to our channel. For updates on Kids Club activities, as well as new weekly arts and craft projects, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Mommies and Daddies Gateway Kids Club is a free program, and your donation helps us to keep this program running, as well as support artists like myself. To donate, please see the link below or visit our website. See you soon, boys and girls! Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Gateway. Happy birthday to you. Hey there, boys and girls, mommies and daddies. My name is Dwayne, and I was just setting up the place for the party of the year. Have you heard? Gateway is celebrating its third birthday online on the 18th of July. There will be a live art and craft, a souped up storytelling by yours truly, where there will be many different characters and costumes, and there will even be a dance party! Woo woo! So what are you waiting for? Head down to Cystic and grab your free tickets to participate. See you there!